Did you mean what you said to those policemen about everyone having a heart? Well, sure I did. Well, because mine feels awful cold just now. Cold? Or empty, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of me, I hope. Oh, no. Because of something I did. <laughs> oh, Bobby! Bobby reasoned with the woman I'm coming up a little short this morning. No shorter than yesterday, unless I've broke. I've broke. I've broke. <laughs> something I didn't do. Well, if it feels cold, then that means it must still be there, right? Unless there's a vacuum where it used to be. <laughs> a, a vacuum? In your chest? That sounds so implausible. No, I did something wrong this morning is all I'm trying to say. I can't get it out of my head. The vacuum? My action. <laughs> I let someone down I love dearly, and I feel really bad about it. Maybe that's nature's way of telling you it's time to lift somebody up. Really? Do you think you'd be feeling as bad as you do if you didn't have a heart? I don't know. Suppose not. Well, of course you wouldn't. Because then you'd be dead. Darkness <laughs> <laughs> surrounds you, and you lose your <laughs> Here, 
Someday I'll meet someone whose heart joins with mine. Aortas and arteries all intertwine. They'll beat so much stronger than they could apart. Gain chambers of muscle to hustle the love in our heart. <laughs> you said about the clouds and my heart. <laughs> I can't forget about what you said about the laughter and the gladness. <laughs> when? When will I see you again? I'm afraid in this darkness you can't see me at all. <laughs> but a bright new shining world is waiting to start. I can feel it. Come to amenity number nine tomorrow. I'll show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, she does, little Sally. She's the hero of the show. She has to love <laughs> Everybody loves Bobby Strong. What's it like, Officer Locksock? That's what like, little Sally. You're in town. Oh, I can't tell you that, little Sally. Why not? Because it's a secret, that's why. Its power depends on mystery. I can't just go blurting it out like, there is no you're in town! We just kill people! Oh, no. <laughs> Information must be oozed out slowly until it bursts forth in one mighty cathartic moment, somewhere in Act Two, <laughs> with everyone singing things like that. Oh. Yeah. Well, where's she going? Back to the next scene. Amenity number nine, the first are new, an entirely legal fee heights, which we hope you'll honor and enjoy. You're sure right. Right. Yeah. Of, course, of course, no one knows like the good people at Hearing Good Company how difficult the times are, but research into finding long-lasting solutions is expensive. And so for now, our decision is firm, and we look forward to going to Rio with our new profits. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we look forward to finding long-lasting solutions and things like that. Now, good luck, Miss Pennywise. See you when you know where. Fairly sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Hang this up. <laughs> you can't do this to us, Miss Pennywise. It'll be off to your in town for a lot of us sooner or later if you do. And it'll be off to your in town for me if I don't. The former line, get your money ready. You feet high money, that is. Miss Pennywise! Bobby Strong, where the hell have you been? Sorry I'm late, Miss Pennywise. I was up all night thinking, is all. Up all night thinking, is it? The word for me now, Bobby, you don't need to go in the bushes anymore. I must. My father went, sir, that's what I always say. Now let's get to work. But it was about my father I was thinking, Miss Pennywise. What happened to him yesterday? What's happening to all of us? He broke the law, Bobby Strong, and that is the end of it. But what if the law is wrong? 